everybody out there in YouTube land, fans of the Matrix, it is I, Embrace the Matrix. And I'm just giving you a little follow-up, a little update what's been going on. As you, I'm sure you noticed, no painting videos have come out as of late. I do have some. But I'm, on the, I'm in the process of moving again. Uh, one year ago I moved, and it has been one year, and I'm moving again. And it's pain in the ass <laughs> let me tell you because we have a lot of stuff and we're moving into large houses and we're just trying to find something that fits our lifestyle and with running multiple businesses that we have the space so this place is much larger but cheaper than what we're paying now so it's actually very beneficial but nonetheless if you've moved, and if you've moved more than once, and I've probably moved at least 10 times in my life, it's a pain in the ass. And had a bunch of reliable workers for my primary business. They decided to all quit for one reason or another. My primary business has been all wacky do. It's just been just crazy chaos with clients and everything just everything it's just been nuts I mean I'm like this is what's left of my office not much I actually have most of it emptied out and <clears throat> gonna be uh, getting the rest of stuff out uh, this weekend so but the good news let's talk about some positives so the good news is where I'm moving to I have a gigantic basement what's that gonna mean oh I don't know let's see let's say better videos for one better lighting uh, multiple camera angles it's going to mean a whole lot of awesomeness. So make sure you stick around because things are coming. So I just want to let you guys know that I actually have some really cool videos. And I've uh, <clears throat> kind of changed how, the, I should say, the size of painting I'm going to do. I am limiting myself to nothing but large canvases. And by large, I mean 24 by 24 and larger. Three feet by four feet things like that just large canvases uh, they're going to be more dynamic more just bizarre i'm going to be putting a lot more of my uh pure carnal internal emotion into them and we're going to see what comes out not that there wasn't a tremendous amount of emotion passion pain and everything else in many of my works but it's going to be a little different now um there's been a lot of events that have transpired in just the last eight months that have made me look at things a little bit differently and definitely change a few things and see where it goes kind of like going with the flow so I just want to let you guys know that yeah I'm still sucking air I'm still getting things done I'm grinding out there seven days a week working like a dog um, stacking cash of course you know because that's what you do uh, if you can and I'm doing my damnedest just trying to survive like most people I mean my art could barely buy me a cup of coffee <laughs> the, the revenue and that's not to say that it's not without value I just haven't found the right market or the right people you guys love watching these videos and that's great and I love I just responded to a bunch of comments and it's wonderful I love all the the cool comments and from all over the country uh, all over the world I should say all over the world and it's just pretty pretty cool uh, a lot of people like it and you don't have to purchase any my point is I'm not relying on my artist to make any like supplemental income or anything that's more like what I'm trying to say is because I have to focus you know obviously on my primary business that makes that my whole keeps my whole family going with everything and then you know also has for this long supported my <laughs> desire to paint because yeah paint ain't cheap especially if you want to use some good stuff and not necessarily cheap stuff although I use all range of paints I use from the artist loft all the way to golden and liquitex and and all their variables and stuff 
So it just depends on your application. I don't buy that whole student professional paint level. I hate that shit when you go to Michael's and you see, you know, one, two, three or whatever. And three is obviously the most expensive, but that's the, you know, you got like really cool color choices and different kind of um, mediums and stuff like that. But why can't it just be like, here's our paint and then there's their paint. Why does there need to be like a scale? Why does there need to be? So you got like, well, I can only afford, I'm, I might be a three level, but I can only afford one paint. You know what I mean? Like that's silly. Like it should just be like, don't segregate it and make people feel like you may be really awesome, but are broke. And, you know, see, I'm the, sort of the different, like I have money and I'm working on my creativity. <laughs> so with the move and everything else, things are going to be a little sketchy. I'm still trying to post some things on Instagram, but again, with my business working seven days a week, trying to move, I have a two year old. I haven't even so much, my painting stuff has been packed up for oh goodness, about well over a couple months now. And I mean, I haven't even thought about it to be honest. So, but I'm looking forward to this new space. I think that's what I was talking about. I'm looking forward to that new space because uh, it's huge. It's a huge basement. I'm gonna be able to tarp out like a whole big area and then uh, get my table in there where I can walk around. That's the key. I want to be able to walk around my my whole painting. You know, I just seen the Jim Carrey video. And if you haven't seen the Jim Carrey video where he talks about painting, I don't know if he's going back in the movies or, um, t you know, things like that. But he's definitely into painting. And what I thought was, like, the coolest, he was working on this gigantic painting. It's in the video. And he's, like, laying on a scaffold. Like he's got a scaffold between two ladders and he's cause that you have to wonder. It's like when you have this, like, I don't know, it looked like it could be like a 10 foot by 10 foot canvas or something just gigantic. Like, how do you paint? But he's actually like painting, you know, laying on it and just doing his thing. It's like, man, that's awesome. That's what you, that's what you have to, that's a setup. And I had come to the conclusion. I'm not going to mess around with smaller canvases just because uh, I came to that conclusion months and months and months ago because it was just, uh, I have more fun with larger canvases. I mean, I want to get very like, yeah, like a, a six foot by six foot canvas to a six foot by six foot fluid painting. Is it even possible? I don't know. I, don't know. I haven't seen anybody do it. I've seen people do like large, you know, larger canvases, but it's more controlled and stuff. But like, how do you do like a six foot by six foot, like wicked fluid painting, like with, traditional traditional old school methods don't come up with no crane and some bucket truck and dangle it and stuff i'm talking put it outside and you know get your paint and figure out how to hoist it and move it around i do have a fenced in yard so you know we can get we can get some craziness going outside i got a total privacy fenced in yard it's not huge but it is private and i got a whole you know bunch of like trees and bushes in the back so we can get crazy out there with the paint. Who cares, you know? Go wild. Go crazy. Be crazy. So don't forget about the Matrix because the Matrix has not forgotten about you. Stick around and you will be seeing some stuff. I have to be out of here by August 31st. And so that means I'll be in the new place September 1st. Probably right exactly on that time. And then it's uh, going to be full tilt boogie. You know, once we kind of get st settled. But I'm not even unpacking most of my stuff right away i'm just getting right to setting up my paint and stuff and I have my work stuff and that's all i need right now i'm playing bass in a band any music you hear and any of these on my future going videos is going to be the new project i'm in i'm playing bass did i already say that the name of the band is unified field and in my uh, description in the bottom is the link to the to our facebook page so we're still working on putting things together and just got a singer so we're not ready for the stage just yet but it's something else i'm working on as well so i am going to get back into painting and get out what i need to because i got some really cool ideas and i think you're going to like what i'm going to come uh, put together if of course you have any questions or anything don't hesitate to ask them below some people do some people just say hey man that's cool or hey man you suck i've only gotten a few of those but you know we just delete them 
because there's no point. It'd be fine if they said you suck and here's why, but they just say you suck. I mean, well, that's just juvenile. So, you know, I don't know. Okay. I do suck. You don't want to know what I suck. I suck everything. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This has been a production of Embrace the Matrix. Thank you very much. Have a great day, and we will see you in the next video.